hello if you're new here my name is Tadia Vera if you've been watching my videos welcome back to my youtube channel you are the MVP so today I wanted to share with you tricks and tips of uh, you know starting an online business specifically selling clothes on Instagram like I sell clothes at Ivy collection on Instagram that's how I eat that's how I pay my bills that I, that's how I pay rent so basically um Instagram feeds me I just wanted to share with you tips and tricks that I've learned throughout my journey and so maybe this will help someone out there you know get their points so um I think for the first point if for any business like this is any business if you want to start a new business the first thing that you must have is confidence you know um have confidence in yourself confidence will enable you like start the business itself like you don't have to um have thoughts in your on your mind or or you know negative thoughts in your mind like would this business work um will people like my products you know those sort of stuff you know self-doubt just have confidence and just go for it you can only know if a business is viable if you've tested it if you've tried it you know but when you're starting you know maybe invest a little bit don't you know don't go all the way in you know go foot by foot foot by foot put you know test the waters first but always go for your business you never know so another thing so let's say you've you got your phone um you already open an instagram account um you're struggling to get followers how do you get followers let me say for me how i got my followers um the way i when i started what i would do was um go to a competitor's page you know somebody that's already selling products similar to mine go to their followers follow their followers <laughs> yeah that's what i did that's how i got followers you know it works you know those are your potential clients too so i used to follow them i used to follow them i used to follow them and some would follow some would not follow so they i had an unfollow us up so those who didn't follow me i would unfollow them and that's that's how i that's how the fastest way to get followers for your business hands down and you can use instagram ads i've never used an instagram ad just, just i have never used an instagram ad so i don't know how good they are but some people say they are good so you can also use instagram ads but the, the best thing i'll tell you go to your competitors competitors page and like um follow their followers those who have commented is this available those are your potential client follow them too and so that's another thing so another so you have already gotten followers what next how do you showcase your products on instagram instagram is you know digital or in the digital space good quality photographs matter matter good if you're doing video good quality videos if you're doing um photos good quality photos matters so you know take good shots you know if you're doing a flat lay put some, maybe a sheet or maybe if you're using tiles put something that is beautiful you know you know go to google google flat lays see how they have done their flat lays you know or if you're doing a wall make sure the wall is clean make sure the wall is good you know not let not many too many things happen in the background you know just keep it simple keep it beautiful get a good for quality camera like as for me i invested in a good phone i saved up to buy my phone just because i knew that good quality pictures matters if i wanted to you know take my business to the next level so good quality pictures videos matter put quality 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 pictures that's another thing so um you're ready so where do you get stock um when you're starting you can start by selling your clothes maybe the clothes that you do longer wear that are good not ugly ones like when you want to sell something to someone just look at yourself can you wear that maybe we don't wear it just because it's out of style don't put things that are out of style you know you know make it be trendy make it be fashionable make it something that is this or maybe it's, this is my clue maybe it's too small now is it trendy can someone buy it that's the next question another thing is where do you get your stock um you can go to the local markets we have open air markets you can go there um in and 
buy the clothes to, for yourself if you don't mind walking in the heat and the people and i don't mind that i actually enjoy it and also you must go to the market very very early very early that's when you get the good stuff the earlier you go the better you go you get the good stuff um yeah so that's it to go early to the market you can pick your clothes if you have money you can tell someone to open for you a bell if you are going to you know when opening a bell is good for somebody if you want to be like you know to get the first camera you must have a lot of money and you must have a lot of clients to like sell those clothes that you're taking huge chunks it doesn't make sense to have a lot of supply without demand so yeah that and also if you're struggling to get um products for your for your shop at ivy collection offers wholesale too i offer wholesale products at ivy collection or i do sell on wholesale so you can also check me out and uh another thing set a good price the third thing is after you have to set a good price set a good price for your products like put a put a reasonable price just look at yourself how much did i get it my costs does it add up you know put your cost in your transport everything put your profit there just make sure it's reasonable like don't overprice like it's not like don't overprice you know money is good but don't overprice just put a set a good a reasonable price so that everybody's happy so you know you know everybody's happy and if your price is right and things may, might even sell faster you know th there's no reason to have something beautiful on the shelf the price is, is way too high it just sits there and look at you rather than you know reducing your profit but you know you're constantly selling you're constantly selling you can make a million by selling maybe one stuff at a million or selling new or selling millions of stuff at, at one thousand bob at, at, at one, one one bob at the end of the day that's one million you know so yeah that and also another thing that you can use to encourage your clients to continue buying having sales having sales is a good thing you know to sell your dead stock and also to appreciate your clients you know just tell them that today let's just have a sale and just reduce the price of things so that you know get your coins sales are very very good you know you can make good money with sales you know to sell the stuff that are Maybe someone wanted to buy, but the price was ish ish for them. So that would be a good thing to know. Do sales. Most companies, most stores, most businesses have sales. So have a sale. And then another thing, if you're going to be selling clothes online, check fashion trends. You know what's good, what's hot, what's popping. I remember when I started my business, I started with a hundred shillings, and what catapulted my business was I was selling a lot of off shoulders, and that that time of shoulders were not too many in the market, but they was in thing. Everybody was wearing off shoulders. Off shoulders really catapulted my business. I remember the first time I went to the market with a hundred bob, bought ten tops for ten shillings each, sold them for two hundred bob and you know I made my money and that's how I just put I started selling off shoulders. I also used to sell this short a short and some a two top and that combo really catapulted my business. So you know check what's hot at the market. Check fashion trends. Go to your explore page. See what Instagram buddies are wearing. People check those stuff. See where your clients are getting their fashion inspirations from. You'll be surprised. So check fashion trends. If you're into fashion business, check fashion trends. It's a good thing. Another thing is you have to be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your business. Like um, <laughs> any new business, it takes time for it to bake. Like... You know as you're getting your name out there be patient enjoy the process you know one day you'll get where you want to be but at the end of the day enjoy the process you know enjoy that you're selling your stuff right now maybe you know enjoy it you know frustrations is good frustrations can come in but just be patient with yourself starting a new business isn't easy but you once you get the hang of it when, once people know your name you're going to be proud of yourself and you're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor just be patient with yourself 
And another thing, keep financial records. In any business, you must put keep financial records. I mean, it's just how are you going to know if your business is making profit or is making a loss? Check out um, how much did I spend on stock? How much did I pay, spend on transport? How much maybe did I spend on lunch? How much money did I spend on maybe internet? And factor it in. Put your expenses and then get how much you've earned. Minus it and see your, if you're, you're, you're making a profit or you're making a loss. If you're making a loss, then cut that bitch. Cut that bitch. Let that bitch go. It doesn't make sense to have a business that's not making money. Just be taking your money and putting it in, into the shredder. It doesn't make sense. That's how you know you're busy if your business is viable or not. Keep financial records, no matter how small. Even if you're buying things for 200 bob, keep your financial records. I have my financial records from like, um, when I started. Let me get them for you. You see how I was doing my financial records. So let me give an example of this one. This is dated on towards to 2018. So this was in 2018 when I was starting. And as you can see, I bought off white pants. This is the the price I bought them for, and this is what I was selling them for. And this one did not sell. So yeah, this is the amount I bought stuff for. You see, I bought stuff for 950. And this is 950, the amount that I bought my stuff for. Then this is 40 bob for transport. As you can see, this is what I used for transport. And this is 990. So this is my total expenses. And uh, this one is how much I made. Like how much money I received, you see. It's twenty five fifty, and then I minused the nine hundred and ninety. So this was my expenses. So as you can see, my profit was fifteen five one thousand five hundred and sixty, and then plus other payments that I received along the way. So the total money I received that week or that day, let's say this, the total money I received that day was twenty two thousand six hundred uh, two thousand six hundred and 60 and this money i also i i would also include like money that i received that day like this was money that i received that day maybe from it could be from this clothes that i've sold or from the previous from the previous stock i'll just add them to see the amount of money i received that day this one is not too clear this one is not too clear. So at least you get what i'm saying that it's good to keep financial records like this is whole financial records this is financial records this is financial records and you can see the day 2018 financial records i still have financial records this is for 2018 there were a lot of them for 2018 so apart from keeping financial records another thing that you should keep in mind um to get sales is listen to what your customers say maybe your client can tell you i want this type of top i want this type of dress i want this type of pants that one is sure bet that's how you know that uh, if i get this stuff it's going to sell so you know you, you already have a client for that something so you're going to the market in mind with that product in mind so you know that this one if i get it i already have a client so that's another way good thing of 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 no of getting you know of selling your stuff quickly you know listen to what your customers say what are they saying about you what are they saying about your products what do they want listen to what your customers say another thing so that's it i think you've come to the end of this video i think that is what i have if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment sections you can ask them in the comment section, but that is what I had for today. Um, so if you want to start your business, by all means, sis, bro, go for it. Go for it. Go for your business. Go for your business. Don't forget to follow at Ivy Collection. <laughs> go for your business. You know, do it. You know, selling clothes online, I can tell people, it's a good business, you know. There is enough cake for everyone. We can all eat the cake. The cake is big. We can all take a piece. So, you know, go get your business. Go get your money sales. If you want to get more extra income, by all means, do it. There is enough cake for everybody, okay?
there's enough cake for everybody you can be doing me and you can be selling the same product but you do it the way i do it and the way you do it are two different things and that's what matters we're two different personalities so by all means since the market is never that saturated there is money a lot of there is a lot of money in the world so yeah you know get your niche can get your niche girl get your niche go get your coins sis so if you enjoy this video Kindly give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've been, I hope I've given you some tips and tricks. Peace.